Nick with Sweetwater here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Spark Go, an exciting little practice amp for guitarists from Positive Grid. This compact 5 watt brute right here. And thanks to the Spark app, you get instant access to no fewer than 33 amps and 43 effects pedals, and you can tweak them to your very heart's content. I like it. Let's hear some more, but this time through the DI. We just heard the mic. Now let's hear the DI through the headphone output. <laughs> As you can see, the Spark Go is extremely small and therefore extremely portable. In fact, it's not much bigger than a stomp box. Check it out. Dun, dun, dun. That said, it's pretty darn sturdy without being overly heavy, so it's literally primed and ready to, well, uh, go wherever you go. Yeah, I know, that was lame, but I couldn't resist. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> The Spark Go is the third member of the Positive Grid amp family. The first one to rear its head a few years back was the 40 watt Spark Combo. This one right here. Pretty compact, but not as compact as that. Then, a couple of years later, came the even more compact 10 watt Spark Mini. Yep, this bad boy right here. And then, of course, comes the subject of this video, the even smaller and even more portable 5 watt Spark Go. And just like its bigger brothers, the Spark Go doubles as a Bluetooth speaker and, as you'd both expect and hope, works really well with the free Spark app. It's also deceptively and satisfying loud, so don't let its diminutive size fool you. <laughs> The controls and jacks on the Spark Go are refreshingly minimalistic, so let's take a quick look, shall we? Starting with the top panel going from left to right, we have the following. The guitar input jack, which is surrounded by a nice big gold finished knurled guitar volume control, which has a satisfying click to it whenever you rotate it. I like it. Next to that is a stereo headphone jack, which is perfect for silent practice with uh, headphones. And also, just so you know, and you're hearing right now, this output can be used as a line output for recording purposes or for feeding an even bigger amp. Then, to the left of that, we have the plus and minus volume control buttons for whatever music you're sending to the Spark Go via Bluetooth. And then finally, on the top panel, we come to the selection button and LED indicator lights for the four presets the Spark Go comes with. And just so you know, these can be tweaked as much as you want via the app, which is exactly what I did as soon as I got the thing, because it's really simple to do. In fact, you've already heard three of my quartet of customized presets. Here's the fourth one, my clean sound, which I very, very rarely use. <laughs> a little sloppy, but you get the point. This is a really cool, clean sound. Anyway, let's now go to the right-hand side panel of the Go, shall we? What we see there is very simple, a power slash pair button with LED indicators for both power and Bluetooth connection. And speaking of power, the Spark Go has a rechargeable battery that, when fully charged, can go for a good eight hours. Now, when the power indicator light is solid green, it means that the Go is powered up and ready to roll. But when it turns red though, that means it's time for a recharge. And if it starts flashing red, you're in trouble. You're out of luck, out of power. So make sure that doesn't happen. 
And speaking of recharging, that leads us neatly to the USB port just below the power button. This is good for charging the Spark Go, or, as you'd expect and hope, connecting it to a PC or Mac for use as an audio interface. <laughs> And then, last but certainly not least, on the right hand side panel there's a gold button for the supplied strap which you can use to strap your Spark Go to your belt, your guitar strap, or wherever you'd like to strap it. Spark Go features over, now let's talk about the app. It's free, and once you've downloaded it, all you have to do is pair your phone up with your Go, and you're ready to roll. Not only can you tweak or completely rewrite the four presets in your Go, you can also access and download a whole plethora of cool presets from Spark's Tone Cloud, including, believe it or not, some written by the one and only Zach Wilde himself. In fact, here's his No More Tears lead setting. <laughs> Yep, that's a pretty fine preset from Father Wild. Thank you, sir. Anyway, once you've written your own presets, which I'm sure are going to be wonderful, you can upload them to the Tone Cloud too and share them with others. And if you want to get other people's stuff, as there's literally thousands upon thousands of uploaded presets on the Tone Cloud, you can narrow down your search by typing in a band name or song title, for example. For instance, just before doing this video, I typed the word Metallica into the search, and guess what? I found a whole plethora of them, including one named, wait for it, yep, Metallica. So I downloaded it. Let's check it out, shall we? <laughs> That's not bad at all. Let's tweak with it, shall we? To do this, all I have to do is tap it, and then start changing settings, and then adding or even changing pedals, or even the amp. So let's see what's going on with this setting, shall we? Right, as we can see, we've got the following. The amp is a tread plate. Hmm, I wonder what that's a model of. And then going this way, we have a drive pedal, a tube driver, green, hmm, wonder what that is. This is off. And we also have, obviously, a noise gate. So we've got noise gate and drive in front of the amp. Then we've got a tread plate. Now let's see what's after it. That's off, that's off. And we've got a little bit of chamber echo. So let's go back to the amp and tweak it a little bit. What I'm going to do, just looking at it, I'm going to crank the gain even more, the bass up a little bit, and treble up a little bit, because I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Let's mess with the drive next, shall we? What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to turn the overdrive down, and I'm going to crank the level all the way up, and let's hear what this sounds like now. <laughs> I like it. Let's mess with one more thing, shall we? Here we've got modulation or EQ, so I'm going to double tap on that. Right, let's find an EQ, shall we? There we have one, number 12 is guitar EQ. So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to press this little arrow here, and now I can begin tweaking the graphic EQ. And what I'm going to do is create a Slayer approved frown, just like this. So give me a couple of seconds, and let's rock this out. That'll do. Let's hear what that sounds like. Here it is with it out. Here it is with it in. I like that, I'm going to keep it. Now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to mess with the amp, just because I can. So once again, double tap here. Let's see what I've got available. And in fact, number 27 is insane. That sounds suitable. So 
going to once again press this arrow here then I can mess with insane and let's just do a setting here so we're going to go gain that'll do base up a hair not that much middle backed off a little bit treble up a hair <laughs> Sold. Now if I want to keep this, all I have to do is the following. I press these little dots up here, then I can overwrite it, I can share it to the tone cloud, I can delete it, I can save it to the unit itself, or as I could save as a new thing altogether and I can rename it as well. Pretty cool, very easy to do. If I can do it, you certainly can. So that gives you a good indication of just how intuitive this thing is to use, because I didn't read the manual, as you could probably tell. And just so you're aware, there's a bunch of other cool things you can do with the app on your Spark Go. For example, if we tap the music note icon at the bottom of the screen, let's see what we see, shall we? I can do a smart jam. So let's tap that and see what happens. Oh, I get to choose a drummer, an AI drummer to jam with. I can choose Charles, Sharon, Dave, or Jarvis. They've each got a description of their styles. And what we do is this, you select a tempo, then you play a four bar chord sequence and they create not only a drum groove, but also a bass line for you to jam over. So have at it. And you wanna know how to do that? Just download the handy dandy manuals. It's all in here. And incidentally, if you want, you can also choose a quick jam in either pop, funk, rock or blues with a bunch of choices in each of the four categories. So click away, have at it and have fun. But wait, my friend, there's even more. You can also record videos and post them using the app. You can learn from YouTube tutorials on the app and even slow them down in loop parts. Plus, wait for it, you can even jam along to Zach Wilde's playlist of doom using his presets. How cool is that? Once again, all this is explained in the manual and it's pretty darn intuitive, I have to say. Also, thanks to a really smart auto chord feature, the app actually shows you what chord shape is coming next on the track you're jamming to. How great is that? Anyway, let's go back to Zach Wilde and listen to the No More Tears rhythm patch, shall we? <laughs> Something like that, you get the drift. And there you have it, my friend, a brief overview of the Spark Go. To be honest with you, as opposed to lying, I could easily make a two or three hour video on this device, the app and its myriad of features, but that's the last thing the world needs right now, more of me. That said, even though I've quite literally only just scratched the surface of this bad boy, hopefully you've seen and heard enough to whet your appetite to learn more about this great sounding, portable, and highly intuitive, fun device. In our modern world filled with weapons of digital mass distraction, anything that makes playing and practicing the guitar quick, easy, and fun, in my humble opinion, is a godsend. And to that end, the Spark Go literally ticks all of the above boxes. And it's pretty darned affordable too. A word of positive warning though, if you get one of these, you will no longer have any excuses as to why you don't practice. And it even has a couple of bass and acoustic presets too. Very nice. And as you've no doubt ascertained from listening to my clunky playing on this video, I definitely need to practice more, so I guess I'm going to keep hold of this one. Shh. For more information on this fine guitarist-friendly Spark Go or any of the Positive Grid product for that matter, please go to Sweetwater.com or better still, call your friendly Sweetwater sales engineer. That said, I'm going to call up my buddy Zach Ward's No More Tears lead preset one more time and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to go into the Spark App's vast library of backing tracks, select one called 80s Hard Rock Backing Track in E minor and have at it. See ya. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, 
nicely please, and of course subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, and please go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs. Here's wishing you a simply splendid day. Go jam some 80s metal. Thank <laughs> you.